Hey YouTubers, welcome to my series, Going to the Country. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video about the uh, Smart Hub ZTE uh, MF279T. I just got this, and I've been able to do some speed tests with it, um, and I just wanted to do a review for you. Um, first off, I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm also getting a booster antenna. It's on its way. Yeah, I don't know when it's going to get here. It could be a month. But as soon as I get that, I'll put up another video comparing the speed test with the booster antenna. And um, so, you know, you want to subscribe or whatever because you'll want to see that video when I get the booster antenna. Um, so I'm going to talk about the speed. I've, I've done speed tests with this. And I'm going to talk about the location where I am relative to the cell tower that I'm using and, uh, and some other information as well. Let's get right into the speed test. Um, I got this because I, I did have a landline, a TELUS landline, and uh, the plan I had, I was getting seven megabytes a second, which actually is fine. You can work with seven megabytes a second. I was streaming videos and, and uh, Shaw Free Range uh, TV, and, and it would work fine. Um, my problem was I was having trouble with my landline, and sometimes it would drop down to three megabytes a second. And I was pretty sure that it was on my property. I've got about 500 feet from the tower to the road. And I was pretty sure my problem was on the property because we've had so many branches falling and things like that. And <clears throat> TELUS wouldn't come to look at it. They wouldn't come out until a tree finally came out, took the line out. And I'd been researching smart hubs. And uh, the TELUS tech did a quick check. And he said, yeah, I would get reception here. I'd get moderate reception. So, so I went ahead, I jumped in. And I got the Smart Hub. Um, so, of course, the first thing I did was a speed test. And they say that you'll get it up to 25 megabytes a second. And, uh, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised with the UCLA speed test to see that I was getting between 20 and 25. So that was great. I was really happy about that. This is December, uh, middle of December. And um, the next day, it was snowing. And it was snowing heavily. And uh, I looked at my speed test, and I was down between 10 and 15 megabytes a second. And I thought, okay, well, that's fine. I can live with that. And it was a Sunday. And I decided to stay in my studio that day. My Seahawks were playing at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I was going to watch some football, capped off with a little bit of CFL Grey Cup. And much to my chagrin, the signal was starting to drop out. And, of course, it would do it when, you know, important plays, third and short, the red zone, <laughs> and the signal would drop out. Uh, and it would come back in 10 or 15 seconds. But it was kind of annoying, and it did that pretty much throughout the day. Um, I would want to say maybe it was dropping out once every 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, just enough to be kind of annoying. And it was obviously related to the snow. Because the next day, with no snow, I was back up to... 25 megabytes, megabytes a second, and things were fine. So on, on that theme of, of the signal dropping out in the snow, let's talk about my location relative to the tower. Um, I've got the hub up on a second floor of my house in a window, um, and the tower is on top of a mountain, a ski hill, about 15 kilometers away, about nine miles. And I actually have some trees between my me and the tower. Um, but because the tower is up on a hill, I'm not going through nine miles of trees. You know, I'm, I'm going through maybe a mile of trees before it clears. And then, it, you know, I could, see the, I could see the tower. So I'm thinking that the problem with the snow was that it was either building up on the trees between me and the tower, and blocking the signal, or it was to do with the snowstorm up in the mountain. It would have been a wicked snowstorm, and, and maybe that was interfering with the signal. When I get the booster antenna, um, I'm going to talk to the tech. Maybe he can give me some insights. And when I get the booster antenna, hopefully I'll get another snow day, and I can test that out, if the boost, see if the booster antenna helps that or not. But be advised, that was a problem. And... Um, you know, it was dropping right out. The signal was dropping right out. So, you know, think about where you're living and 
and if that if you can live with that or not, if you get a lot of snow. Um, uh, but you know that's a consideration for sure. So I guess I should mention I'm out in in BC and I bought this through um, Telus, and I'm paying about the same as I was before. I've got a plan with uh, 500 gigabytes of uh, data for $85, and the hub in putting putting me on a monthly plan, $10 a month for two years, we'll we'll pay for the hub. Um, when you get it, it comes with a backup battery that's supposed that apparently will give you about two hours if the power goes out, which is cool, you know, for people, especially in the country, you get power outages, so that's cool. And when you get it, um, out of the box, it, it's pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory. The bottom uh, just comes off, it slips off really easy. That's where your battery goes, and that's where your SIM card goes. Uh, it comes with a SIM card, and, um, you know, it looks like a little card, and be careful with that. Mine was just, um, Mine was just uh, on the outside of, a bo of, of the box with an elastic band on it, and it could fall right off. So you don't want to lose that SIM card. That's important. Um, but, you know, that's, that's the hub itself. So pretty self-explanatory. So I think that's about it. I wanted to keep this short. The main thing is that on a good day, the speed is great. I mean, I'm, I'm, I went from 7 to... Uh, between 20 and 25 megabytes a second. So that's that's great. I was looking for for something a bit faster. I'm um, shooting 360 virtual reality videos with an Insta360 camera. Check those out. And before uploading them would take a long time. I would have to start and upload. They're, they're big files, um, you know, like a one gig file or a one and a half gig file. I would have to start it after dinner. It would run all night. And in the morning, it would still be you know, processing the video. So, it, you know, I was looking for faster upload speed as well as, as download speed. So um, check that out. If I, I checked, before I bought this, I did check around in my neighborhood with people that were using it and everybody was happy. Um, but obviously a factor for me are these trees between me and the tower when it snows. So if you can check around your neighborhood and uh, ask people how they're doing with them, that that's a good thing to do. So... So I would, I would recommend that because um, it's certainly dropping out for me when it's snowing. So thanks for watching. Check out my series Going to the Country. I've got all kinds of tips and tricks there. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe, you know, that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Cheers. See you next time.